Six now, the unprecedented state-level assault on the constitutional rights of 40 million Americans in the once golden state. Too many lemmings in California are just going along with a completely unconstitutional decree from a rogue, radical governor by the name of Gavin Newsom. Joining me now, the founder of the American Truth Project and Daily Ledger contributor, Barry Newsbaum. Barry, I'm telling everybody I know in California and in New York, because apparently they've got the same edict going on there now. This is time to defy and think about the Constitution and think about your constitutional rights and think about the nefarious, pro-socialistic and anti-constitutional effort behind these edicts, because there's always a reason behind them. Graham, perfect lead in to my first thought, which is what is the reason behind them? You have emergency decrees coming out coast to coast, the worst one in California, obviously, just yesterday, that is literally throwing the Constitution in the shredder. Now, why is it being done? I looked up a bunch of statistics today. The H1N1, which was the biggest virus outbreak of recent times in 2009, affected 50 to 60 million Americans and several tens of thousands were killed, and we went around our business as if everything was normal. The amount of infected and the amount of deaths, and believe me, I take them seriously, is an infinitesimal amount compared to the past. Why, Graham, is the Constitution being completely destroyed over a virus that's a bad flu that is nowhere near Nowhere near, not even on the same scale as the last outbreak we had in the country. Are we getting a little too conspiratorial, or is there something that no. you and I don't know? No, we do know. We know this is their M.O. We know Barack Obama did this, never let a good crisis go to waste, and we know Newsom's following in his footsteps. Constitutional violations? Let us count the ways real quick here, uh, Barry. By my count, I just went through this very quickly off the top of my head. Violation of the First Amendment, assembly, right? Fourth Amendment, Fifth Amendment, where's the due process? Ninth Amendment, remember? Remember the old Ninth Amendment? It's a crazy little amendment in there. And the Fourteenth Amendment, equal protection under the law. Equal protection under the law. Well, look, they're talking about shutting down interstate commerce, travel between the states. That has never happened. It didn't happen in World War II. It didn't happen after 9-11. I mean, there has never been a war footing the United States has been on like it is today in the absence of war. Right. And these responses are so over the top as if there are no individual rights in this country. There's no assembly. There's no business. There's no travel. There's no interstate commerce. I'm very concerned. Oh, yeah. Is this all going to go away when this, as Newsom says, the curve gets flattened? And that's the problem. And this is like a, a huge violation of the Fourth Amendment because this is tantamount to a search warrant, right? This is a massive search warrant uh, searching for a virus in everybody's home. Everybody's guilty before they're, they're, they're allowed to prove their innocence. This is not the way America is supposed to be operating. Barry, thank you.